the coronavirus pandemic of 2019 to 2021. I'm going to go into this. This is the uh, history of the pandemic here, starting in Asia. We have a hot spot here in uh, China expanding. The New York Times reporting hitting New York. It's In here, it's spreading. The death rate is going up. We have um, the genomic epidemiology where it is uh, mutating. Right here, there's no one in sight. The death rates keep going up. Um, by the year 2021, the death toll in the United States was rising. Um, a vaccine was developed. And here, India is out of control. The vaccine was given. And at the end of it, the US infection rate and death rate has slowed down. So this um, pandemic was characterized by antibodies, vaccinations, and um, B cells. Um, I'm gonna pull up a diagram here of the hematopoiesis of B cells, um, where they come from, where antibodies come from, what vaccines do and how antibodies fight viruses and pathogens. Um, this diagram I'm going to expand is to some slides. So I'm gonna show slides presentation of B cells, antibodies, vaccines, and get into the coronavirus. from 2012. Okay, so what is this? Like, Please accept or reject in five, four, three, two, one. Hello, what is an antibody and what is a B cell and how are the variable regions of an antibody formed? Um, B cells come from a process called hematopoiesis from stem cells. The B cell is a lymphocyte, so it has its lymphopoiesis stage from a common lymphoid progenitor 
in the bone marrow, eventually making its way to the spleen. Um, a series of interleukins that are studied by scientists affect these precursor cells. An antibody comes from B cells. Um, there are five classes. There are IgA, IgM, IgD, IgG, and IgE. These antibodies have a variable antigen binding site that comes from a genetic process to create those binding sites randomly um, if it's being stimulated for example by a vaccine uh, it's a method of programming those antigen binding sites the antibody has a heavy chain and a light chain um, the stages of B cell activations from a naive B cell to an activated B cell and then finally to a memory cell So here is the transition, the transition of pre B cells and pro B cells. The IL 7 deficient environment creates a certain line of B cells, and an IL 7 rich environment creates a certain line of B cells. Um, here are the transitions of B cells in the secondary lymphoid tissues. So subsets of B cells have specific functions. And a very, very brief introduction to B cells and antibodies.
coronavirus pandemic of 2019 to 2021. I just went over some uh, information on the antibodies. So what's important with B cells and antibodies is B cells release the antibodies. The T cells have those antibodies bound on the outside of the cell. Um, so antibodies uh, can be released by the memory cells later on once you've been exposed to an antigen. Um, so a vaccine is trying to artificially program the binding sites of the antibodies. So what you have is the variable regions of those antibodies. Uh, if you're not programming them directly with genetics, you have to give a antigen which could be uh, a piece of a virus uh, or a bacteria or a parasite to, to stimulate the immune system to create those antibodies. Uh, what they have done with this um, latest vaccine is they have created a messenger RNA which creates a protein. So the protein is related to, similar to, a binding site on the coronavirus. So if you can send some messenger RNA into your body to create the, the protein from the virus, the spike protein, then you can create an antibody. The, the problem some see is that CRISPR technology is being used to create the vaccine. So CRISPR is a editor for genomics. It's like a notepad or word processor to edit someone's genome and um, it has been deemed unethical to play around with CRISPR and the human genome. So we were faced with a out of control virus and the tools that we have we just developed CRISPR CRISPR-Cas9 you can google it I can explain more later about what it is um, it allows you to find a locus site um, at a, and it can program or cut out genes from that site. But if you're doing it in a petri dish or a test tube, then it's not the same as if you're putting it in the human body. Thank you.